I'm about to go put in point 29. Good, what, 50 meters up there? The freaking single canopy freaking jungle in freaking Okinawa. Hopefully the freaking thing boars are still sleeping. Because I tell you what, you can smell that they're here. For sure. This is really testing out DJI. What are we doing? Trying to disconnect the GPS module. Oh, it's not even apparent. To, while it's mid-air flying, so we're going to simulate a flight, pretend it's flying and disconnect the GPS module and see if it would drop or it would actually hover and just give an error. So, yeah, so we've just disconnected the GPS and it thinks it's flying without the GPS on there. And yeah, he's lost all the satellites, so he doesn't know where, where it is, it's just in Addy mode. He's got no sat. Right. <laughs> right, no training coming up, putting an IV in Eric, he might actually need it after his broken rib. What else we got? Combatives? What time's combatives? Lunch. Lunch. Combatives at lunch. You saw a little preview of that earlier. Now it's going to be way better than that. That was just what not to do. I'm excited. Oh, and like, you know, actually teaching. Continuing How's the class going? How are your people doing? I am so impressed. Uh, Ron's people, people here on this base, just incredible people. Uh, very, uh, what's the word, professional I think I would say. Also really cool dudes, we had lunch with them today. We couldn't film that though, not allowed to film that. Um, just really great guys, they learn fast, fun to hang out with, super professional. So we're, uh, I think we're gonna miss them, that's for sure.
I apologize for bringing you to a restaurant that advertises all you can eat. But interesting fun fact we just learned is that if you don't eat it all, they charge you more. So that'll learn you. Avoiding waste, I guess. Not the Golden Corral over here. This is looking good. Not sure how much I'm gonna actually cook this, rather than just eat a little sashimi. It's looking good. It gets really sticky. There you go. There you go. Oh, I think that's almost ready to go. That one. So we're looking for we're looking for a goat for the Habu Hustle Adventure Race. The idea is to put a checkpoint on the goat in a certain specified area of terrain and the races would have to wrestle the goat to get their checkpoint. I feel like you've been successful. I don't know, they're a little bit smaller and cuter than I was hoping for. It's kind of looking for an ornery one. It might buck and kick and ramp. Can you get in there? Get your face up next to him? Oh, he likes you, Ron. They're a little bit too cute. You need a daddy goat. Well, the issue is then what do you do with the cute goat after you've used it in an adventure race? Plan A was to eat it. A little too cute to eat, maybe. Pull it together, Ron. We need to get a goat. How much yen for a goat? How much yen for the goat? Uh, who, um, which, uh, which store sells the goat? The goat. Which, which store? You go outside and around the goat. What are you doing there? Just showing him where the goats are. This one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, those? Yeah. To buy. Money for the goat. Ah. <laughs> oh, translation. Sometimes you just gotta walk your goat to the finish line. Greatest of all time, Habu Hustle 2018. Man and his goat. Can't go wrong. Doesn't seem weird. I'm gonna post this on the internet. People are just gonna think you lost your shit. <laughs> 